On this super review, let's take a look at the Pamu Scroll. I recently reviewed some truly wireless Bluetooth earbuds that surprised me. They're actually really good. And here's another pair that we've got from a company called Padmate. They call this the Pamu Scroll. And what's interesting to me about this is a couple of things. So one, the Pamu Scroll was launched on Indiegogo. There is a, a big Indiegogo campaign. They raised over $2 million to launch the Pamu Scroll. And I'm kind of curious to see what are people so excited about this versus a bunch of other truly wireless Bluetooth earbuds that are out there on the market. The other thing I find interesting about the Pamu Scroll is just kind of the style and the case and what they're going after. This is a little bit less of an electronic and a little bit more of a style piece, I suppose. Um, I believe the case is made out of leather, but that kind of stuff we'll get into. So let's go ahead and open up the box. We'll find out what we get inside the Pamu Scroll. And then I'll give it a listening test and let you know how does the Pamu compare to some other truly wireless Bluetooth earbuds like the Dudias. Let's check these out. All right, so we got the Pamu scroll here in a box and what can we tell about this thing looking around it? So one thing that stands out is that these claim to have Bluetooth 5.0. Most Bluetooth devices are still, we're near the end of 2018 and most Bluetooth is still Unlike Bluetooth 4.0, 4.1, and 4.2, 5.0, things are starting to come out with 5.0, but there's not a lot. And generally what 5.0 promises is a little bit better battery life and lower latency, not necessarily increased sound quality. Going around to the back, let's see, this thing has a leather portable charging case. It's got auto on and off, touch button control, splash and moisture resistance, lightweight, binaural audio call. So this is actually an interesting point to, to call out is that a lot of these wireless Bluetooth earbuds, these true wireless ones, when you make a phone call, you actually only get audio out of one ear. I don't, I don't know why that's the case, but that is the case. And Pamu has made, or Padmate, or whatever you wanna call these guys, they've made the, the distinction that you get audio from both earbuds. Battery life of about three and a half hours, so that's pretty comparable to the Duos that I had, uh, Siri activation. Um, and then here you see the options of colors that there are, right? There's the Glory Edition, which it appears that I've got the Glory Edition. We'll see how glorious that is. There's a graphing color, a rock and roll, and a Sakura. Uh, yeah, otherwise not much here to find out, so let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. All right, so we got the Pamu scroll completely unboxed and this is what you get inside the box. You get some you get some instructions and this is a pretty hefty looking book. You get a micro USB cable for charging, which is pretty standard for these. You get three sets of ear tips. They appear to have the mediums pre-installed and you also get a size small and a size large. And these seem like pretty standard silicone tips. Now this is the charging case, which it comes with. And this is one of, this has got to be one of the selling points of the Pamu scroll is this charging case because look, there's a lot of Bluetooth earbuds that are very similar to these in terms of form factor, but I haven't seen anything with a charging case like this. It is wrapped in leather. I gave it the smell test. Didn't necessarily smell like leather. Um, and then like other Bluetooth earbuds like this, these things will just magnetically fit into these holsters. And then the lid on this case is also magnetic. So it's this leather strap with a little magnet that runs across the edge. And then you got this nice little carryable set of headphones. But yeah, that's about as much as I can tell you about the Pamu scroll without giving these a listening test and really running these through. I'm going to spend the day listening to these things and I'll find out, you know, how do they work? Do they do they automatically connect to my phone when I take these out? Do they automatically turn off when I put them in the case? Figure out those sorts of things because those are the things that a truly wireless earbud needs to get right. And we'll see how does the Pamu scroll do with that.
All right, let's talk about the Pamu Scroll, which I've been listening to for a while, been comparing it with the Dudio's True Wireless earbuds, and I think the Pamu is actually a pretty good option. Let's start with sort of the physical characteristics of this thing, which are probably, personally, my least favorite. All right, so the Pamu Scroll comes in this case, which has got this leather wrapping, and it's got kind of like a premium, almost fashion-y design to it, which does not personally appeal to me. Um, I mean, I think it looks fine. It doesn't look particularly gaudy. Eh, that's a little bit gaudy, maybe. Um, but it's just a, it's a little bit large for me. Compared to the cases that the Dudio's TWS and especially the Dudio's Air come in, this case is a little bit large, a little bit bulky, and it'll fit into a pocket, but it doesn't fit quite as comfortably as those Dudio's. The other physical aspect that's worth calling out is the buds themselves, which are, in my opinion, these are actually really nice small buds. I think that they look pretty sharp. They're just kind of like a simple, you know, they got a little bit of a gold accent, a little bit of bling, which is maybe again, not exactly my taste, but I think they look pretty good. And I like how small they are. When they fit in the air, they, they fit pretty comfortably in my ears and they don't look bad. Now, in terms of the fit compared to the Dudio's, the stems on these are a little bit shorter than the Dudio's. And so in my opinion, these don't fit quite as securely they are, I think, totally fine, but if you are planning to do, you know, rigorous exercise or something like that, the longer stems of the Dudios, especially the Dudios Air, they might actually work a little bit better for you. Now, in terms of Bluetooth functionality, these things are actually doing a really good job. Just like the Dudios, these things will automatically power on and power off when you take them out of the case and put them back in. They'll start recharging themselves. And that, again, like, as I described with the Dudios, that basic functionality, in my opinion, is crucial to having a good true wireless Bluetooth experience. They're doing it right here with the Pamu Scrolls. Um, the one thing about functionality that I'm not a big fan of is that these buttons or the, the, each earbud has a touch button on the outside and they both do the exact same thing. There's no difference between them. Tapping the button will toggle pause and play and then I think there's also some way to activate Siri if that's something that you use, I, I don't. Um, but the, the one issue that I had with that control is that, well, it's touch sensitive. It's not an actual button that you press. So in my experience, when putting the Pamu scrolls into my ears, I was very often accidentally toggling pause and play. It is a sort of thing that you can get used to. I think the AirPods also have touch controls and I don't know how they settle. They, they deal with that you know problem of, I wanna be able to adjust this and put it in my ear without accidentally toggling playback but these don't do a great job of it. That said, they do a decent job and there are some actual benefits to having the touch controls versus the buttons. On the Dudios, the buttons mean that you have to like kind of push the thing into your ear or you just kind of have to pinch it to avoid pushing it into your ear. With the touch controls, it's just a light tap and you don't have that problem of accidentally shoving a Bluetooth earbud into your eardrum. Another strength of the Bluetooth with the Pamu Scroll is the range is excellent. I left my phone in, in this room that I'm sitting in right now and I went all around the house and there was no part of my house that I could go to where the signal cut out. I was actually really impressed with that. So that's like through multiple walls. The Bluetooth signal on this was doing a really, really good job. So that much I'm happy with. The latency on these is also pretty low, although it's not quite as low as some other earbuds. You know, you can definitely watch YouTube. You can definitely watch movies with these, but there is a slight bit of delay which seems you know, pretty standard for most Bluetooth. There are some Bluetooth buds out there that have almost no delay. These do have a smidge of delay, not enough to bother me personally. The one thing that does kind of bother me is that there's a light on these things that while you have them in your ears and you're listening is constantly blinking blue. Oh, you're not gonna see it in normal daylight, but if you happen to be like sitting in bed in the dark listening to these, you're gonna see that light blinking and lighting up your pillow. And personally, I found it annoying. I don't need a blinking blue light, but you know, it, there are a lot of Bluetooth earbuds that have that and the Pamu Scroll is unfortunately one of them. Now the real strength of the Pamu Scroll, if you're not particularly into this stylish design, the real strength here is the sound quality, which I'll be frank, these things surprise me, okay? When I listen to the Dudio's True Wireless Buds, I thought they sounded pretty good, right? We've got the Airs, they sound pretty decent. And then they have the TWS, which has got a little bit more treble, a little, more, a little bit more bass. And I think a lot of people are gonna like that TWS sound. So when I came in here, I was like, all right, if these things sound as good as the TWS, I'll be pretty, pretty happy. But these things sound better than the TWS. In my opinion, this is just like a really good balanced sound, really good mids, 
good treble, and good bass. I'd say it's a little bit less bass than the Dudio's TWS. So if you like a ton of bass, you like overwhelming bass, you might still prefer the Zeus of the Dudio's. But uh, for me, for my taste personally, I think that the bass on this is a lot more tasteful. It's just a really surprisingly good sound. And it might be one of the best sounding Bluetooth earbuds I've ever heard. The other plus side is they get pretty loud. So if I were to rate the Pamu Scroll out of five stars, I'd have to give it five stars out of five. And with one caveat, and it's that I don't really like the way that these things look. Everything else about them is actually surprisingly, surprisingly good. And if they made a version of this that looked a little bit, just a little bit more electronic and a little bit less fashion thing, I'd probably like that version better. But yeah, if that doesn't bother you, I think you'll really like the Pamu Scrolls. If you're interested in checking these out, I do have links in the description down below. While you're down there, you can hit the like button for the video. If you liked the video, you can subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you in the next super review.